Hello. Today we're going to talk about uh, the fortified wines of Madeira. Uh, Madeira, first of all, is an island. It is uh, 400 miles southwest of Europe, off the coast of Morocco. Uh, you can kind of think of it like Hawaii for uh, Europe. It's uh, kind of sharp uh, volcanic uh, crags come out of the ocean. Uh, very forested. Madeira actually means uh, island of woods. Uh, so it's very um, similar to Hawaii, rainy, all the star clouds over it. It's amazing that wines uh, grow here at all. It's hot and humid uh, as well. The, uh, the wines, the way Madeira came about, first of all, is uh, ships leaving from Europe, taking goods to the um, United States, the East Coast, couldn't leave in a direct line across because of the way the currents move. And so the ships would have to come south down the coast of Africa, passing Madeira, and then continue on kind of into the Caribbean, and then it could, could come up the East Coast. And so Madeira became very uh, famous for making wine that you could load up at the last minute and take down. Wine, of course, going across the equator or near the equator would be ruined uh, at the bottom of a ship. Uh, so what they learned to do is to take a bucket full of brandy or grape spirit and they would dump it in to the barrel. Uh, it would fortify the wine, bring the alcohol level up, and preserve it so it's good uh, for a long time. And to this day, Madeira is like that. It's wonderful. It's, uh, you can open a bottle of this stuff up uh, and drink it over the course of months or even years. Uh, you can keep it in your liquor cabinet uh, and just take a little nip whenever you want one. It's, uh, it's great stuff. So ships would pass Madeira and they would get this stuff and they would go across. Now going across with all that heat would do something strange to the wine. It would matterize it. It's a combination of heat and um, an oxidation from the barrels. Uh, and what makes the wine taste more pungent, uh, but also more smooth at the same time. So there's different kinds of grapes that grow on there now. They're what are called the noble varieties. They were four great varieties planted in Madeira. They are... Uh, Cercial, Verdeljo, Bual, and Malmsey. And these are very popular in the 17th and 18th century. Eventually, um, we had a problem in Madeira with oidium, or powdery mildew going through, and then phylloxera, which is a disease that, you know, two diseases that kill grapevines and killed almost everything there. The, the island was then replanted, but mostly to a grape called Tinta Negra Mole. Now it's just called Tinta Negra. This is a bottle of it here. This is our first wine we're gonna try. It is uh, Justino Rainwater Madeira. So Rainwater Madeira, Marinima Madeira is made with a Tinta Negra grape. It is, uh, there are about 700 acres planted on this island. So it's, um, it's the most planted by far. It is, uh, a lot of it goes, uh, a lot of it's made into French cooking wine. In fact, the vast majority of this is used for French cooking wines. So uh, not a lot of it is uh, really made for uh, you know, drinking and, and as fine wine, but some are. This one here was done in three years in oak, so uh, it could be, uh, it's kind of a better version of, uh, of the grape. These grapes have a thick skin, and so uh, they're resistant to mildew, which is the main reason that it's so planted here now. They're often made in what's called an estufa, in which they will simulate the uh, hot uh, ocean voyage that you know, how they became famous. So they'll kind of heat the wine up to about maybe uh, 120 degrees for about 90 days, and it will give you kind of this. You can see the color of it, it's pretty dark. Um, that's done from oxidation, so air touching the wine turns uh, white wines darker. This wine has a pretty simple nose. Um, that's kind of a rotten peach flavor, which is very common for uh, Madeira wines. We call it Rancio. Also has some mango. I will say maybe some caramel. Maybe some cinnamon. That comes from time in the barrel. So this is kind of a more simple wine, made to be drunk as an aperitif. It's off dry. Pretty high acid, um, and again has flavors kind of uh, cinnamon and peach on it. So huh, this is the first one. 
We'll move on to now uh, Noble Varieties. Next wine here is uh, made by Blandies. It is uh, Circeal, aged 10 years in oak. So this is a specific uh, variety called Circeal. Circeal is, uh, comes from the mainland of uh, Portugal, where it's called Escagacau, which means uh, dog strangler. So that has to do with its fierce acidity on it. This is the driest of uh, the Madeiras, uh, has uh, the highest acid and also the lowest alcohol. A lot of these bottles are about 8%, 11%. This one is uh, probably picked at about, I don't know, maybe 11% and then fortified up to about 19%. So uh, the Cerciel grape grows in the coolest sites in Madeira. So this wine has a lot more going on in it. Uh, I'm getting tangerine and kind of orange. Peach as well. Um, golden raisin, cinnamon. This wine also has like a white chocolate uh, type smell. Um, yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, very uh, sharp acidity on it. That's how you could probably tell in a blind tasting. Uh, it's pretty dry, uh, pretty thin. Um, also a good aperitif wine, like the Rainwater is. Moving on to the next one, we have uh, Blandies also. This is Verdejo. So this is aged five years in oak. Verdejo is a native grape, they think, to Madeira. The, uh, the vines have to grow in very, um, Kind of moist soil otherwise the roots dry up so it doesn't grow in a lot of other wine regions but it does well on the island of madeira it is the most planted of the noble varieties maybe this cercial is maybe about 50 acres left on the island uh, this maybe has about 120 acres left so you know these are kind of small sounds big but then you know this one here has 700 acres and so you know the majority of the island is planted to that this is the most planted noble variety This wine has type of a Grand Marnier smell to it. Peach, how to say, approaching uh, nuts, maybe vanilla. It's softer. It's the softest of the four wine. It's off dry. Maybe some buttered popcorn. The next one to try is Bual. So Bual is called uh, Malvasia Fina in other places. And so uh, called Bual here. It grows in warmer sites uh, still. So Cercial grows in the coldest and then Verdelho grows in the second coolest. This is growing kind of uh, warmer still. So grow on the South Island, but it may be a little bit higher altitude. There are about 50 acres left of this as well. This wine is a noticeable jump up. Um, just to compare quickly on color. You can see that the Verdejo is kind of, uh, you know, amber color, but this right here is pretty brown. So you can see a noticeable step up. Uh, probably gonna have uh, more body and more sugar to it as well. The reason it's darker also is that uh, not only is it oxidized, but these wines are made on the skins. So they're fermented on the skins for a short time, the same, same way you would do a red wine. Um, and that gives it more flavor. So with this wine, we're leaving kind of the fruit realm. These are more kind of fruit dominated smells. I think here now we're approaching more caramel, nuts, um, butterscotch, coffee. Earth, like a dry leaves. I think we're having kind of uh, barrel flavors are kind of taking over here a little bit more than a primary fruit flavor. Well, 
Well, this is a noticeable step up in terms of sugar and body. So this now I think we're approaching a um, dessert wine. This wine probably has, I'm not sure, maybe maybe 5% residual sugar in it. Um, getting kind of sweeter. But it's not the last. Final wine is Malmsey. Malmsey is Malvasia di Lipari, which may have come from Greece or uh, I'm not sure exactly where. It grows in the warmest sites. Uh, not much planted of this left. It's hard to grow. Yeah, uh, maybe about 30 acres, maybe a little bit more. It's amazing how little left of all these wines. You can find them if you look. This is also from Blandy, so the last four have been from the same producer, which is nice because you can see how uh, the grape tastes different when they're made the same way. This wine is uh, darker still. Uh, you can smell that it's going to be sweeter still and more rich. Has kind of a honey smell to it, uh, raisin. This, for some reason, to me, has a little bit of a meaty smell to it. Uh, maybe like a mincemeat pie uh, filling. Um, also, there's some kind of herbal, like a tree bark almost. Um, much different than the other ones in terms of smell. Definitely the sweetest of uh, all the wines. The most body, the most concentration. It has kind of a creamy mouthfeel, uh, which, is, which is really nice. Uh, anyway, so to recap, we went through Rainwater, and then Cercial, Verdelho, Bual, and Malmsey. So those are the wines we tried uh, today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, looks like I have some Madeira to drink.